prepared by the Rao Davies Research uh, for Every Child Counts, released today, entitled The Netherlands Study, Learning from the Netherlands to Improve Outcomes for New Zealand's Children. Leave us all to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number three, the Leader of the Opposition, David Thank Shearer. you, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister, does he stand by all his statements? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, yes. Uh, for example, I stand by the statement I made in the House on the 24th of May 2012 that, quote, seeing it's a zero budget and there's not a lot of money to spread around, let me give some free advice to David Shearer. When David Cunliffe has a shave, he should be worried because he's coming after you. That was very good advice. <laughs> Thank you, the Leader of the Opposition. Given his... Order. Order. Given his statement, uh, quote, mixed ownership will free up five to seven billion dollars, which can be used to buy new assets without having to borrow more from offshore lenders. Will he be revising the five to seven billion dollar figure in light of the changed circumstances of solid energy, mighty river, meridian, or Air New Zealand? The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, no. The Leader of the Opposition. Given that Bill English, his finance minister, has said we would only take any of these companies to the market if they are in good shape for investment in solid energy right now certainly isn't, what impact will the delay and potential cancellation of sale of solid energy have on his government's ability to deliver a balanced budget? The right hon. Prime Minister. Speaker, there may not be a delay. Um, it's always been the government's view that uh, this is a three to five year programme. It's always been the view that solid energy is likely to be the last uh, cab off that rank because the energy companies are in better shape to go to the market. As the member might be aware, solid energy is experiencing some issues at the moment because of a fall in coal price, but these things move around. The Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Given John Palmer, Chairman of Air New Zealand's comment that the disappointing share price for the company means that, quote, there, that there probably isn't any particular urgency for the Crown to sell, what impact will that have on balancing the budget? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, none. Um, as I said, it's always been a three to five year programme. The government's always taken the view it would look to maximise the return uh, within reason. There's been nothing stopping the government now that the mixed ownership legislation has passed, taking uh, the portion of Air New Zealand that we could sell to the market, but the government's so, so solely chosen not to do so because it believes at some point it will get a price for that. Who down? The Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Will the negotiations between the Bluff Aluminium Smelter and Meridian, or the fact that Meridian customer North Skog plans to halve production at this Kawarau mill, have any impact on the value of Meridian? And if so, how will that affect the balancing of the budget? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, it's impossible for me to answer the question in relation to Meridio and Rio Tinto because that is a commercial matter between the two companies, but they've had long-standing contracts and in the past they've always seemed to be able to work those out. The Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr Speaker. In light of the troubles were around solid energy, Mighty River, Meridian Energy and Air New Zealand, will he now bow to the overwhelming New Zealand public pressure to not sell our assets. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, no. Question number four, Simon O'Connor.